Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. And today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials. And in this tutorial we're going to cover keyframes, um, motion paths, and basically simple video animations that you may use and find useful in your uh, future videos. Let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro and we're going to go ahead and simply just jump right into our timeline, our project here. And we're going to start fresh. We're actually not going to delete the previous stuff, but we're going to start fresh right here. I'm going to go down and grab an image. Now keep in mind that you can use either an image or a video as your main um, footage for this to do this. So we're just going to stretch it out a little bit and uh, we just made it about 30 seconds long, our image here. And then also we're going to go up here and grab our video. I'm actually going to close the inspector pane. We're going to grab some more of the video here and we're going to grab, drag and drop it straight on top. Now we haven't covered picture in picture in the previous tutorials, but I will be covering this more in the future tutorials but yeah for now this is the way you this is the basic way you would do picture in picture you would simply drag and drop something on top of the original footage like this now what we have if we move the play ahead over the two clips we'll notice that the actual video is up, uh, on top of the image and the only thing we see is the video because the video is on top go ahead and align the video to the beginning of the image where the image starts which is i'm gonna move the play ahead actually first and then we want it just right there that's about perfect now we're gonna go ahead and open up the inspector pane right hand side here and uh, what we're gonna do first is i'm gonna show you guys just basic animation you can uh, basically we can resize this the picture in picture by adding an animation for for example let's say in two seconds we want this to be um, resized and just made smaller basically or scaled as it shows here just to the right hand side of here you have these little plus signs and these are your keyframes this is where you would start the beginning of your animation would, would basically occur so with controlling your play ahead let's say we want the animation to begin right at the beginning of these clips right you see this triangle that means it's the beginning of the clip so right here we want to add a keyframe so we'll go ahead and hit that little plus sign where it says add keyframe and the, the scales at hundred percent so we're adding keyframe for the, just the scale you can add the keyframes to additional items if you want to change multiple items at once if you want to move it for example which we'll cover a little bit later in this tutorial but let's go ahead and just add the scale and then now we're going to go ahead and move the play ahead just we're going to move it just two seconds i believe it is yeah just just two seconds right here to uh 206 and uh, we want it to be scaled we we'll go ahead and add another keyframe here this will be the second basically the endpoint for this um, the scaling effect and then we want to scale it down to let's just scale it down just like this now you're beginning to see the background image which is the actual photo of the flower now we scaled it and uh, that's that there we have it now when we go ahead and scroll through this um, with our play ahead we will see the actual animation taking place so in two seconds we have it all scaled down all the way down to the bottom so if I play this you'll be able to see the effect actually happening in real time just like that now once now once that it's all the way fully scaled we can I mean to its uh, form here we can go ahead and actually move the object for example let's say we want to just move it to the top left hand corner here we can go ahead and do this by, we can either do rotation, anchor, you can actually do several. You can do cropping, you can uh, distort it, and we'll cover distort in just a little bit as well. But let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and position it. So we're going to go ahead and hit the, another keyframe right here at the play ahead just as soon as it finishes scaling. We're going to add another play ahead, I mean another keyframe at, at position. And uh, this time, instead of adjusting it through here, we're going to actually go ahead and just grab the footage. Well, actually, first we've got to move the play ahead of where we want the it to end. So we're only going to go ahead by another two seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and move. Actually, not yet. We've got to go ahead and click another keyframe option. Because as you can see, we have a keyframe header here already. So we want the keyframe to end right here. And now we're going to, going to go ahead and adjust this. Now you can see an actual arrow moving, showing you in two seconds you're going to be moving from this location to this location and we're changing the position of this and we're basically going to move it to the top left hand corner up here just like that now when we hit done you'll be able to actually see the full animation there it is there we have it now we just added a bunch of 
motion, two keyframes that we used, two main actual animations we added to this footage within four seconds. So let's go ahead and play this. And you'll be able to see the actual animation. We got a scale and then we got a position. We positioned it to the left all in four seconds. Now, as soon as it moves to the left corner here, we want as soon as it stops, we want to go ahead and dis distort this image. I know we haven't covered distort, but it will be covered in future tutorials further. But let's go ahead and we're going to distort this image by adding keyframes and distorting it with animation. The easiest way I found to, to do this is you would basically distort it using the arrows on here. So what we're going to do is going to hit, click this uh, little distort option. That way it gives us the options to manually distort. And uh, we want to do this as soon as the video stops on the top left hand corner. So as you can see, it stops right there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a keyframe. Let's go ahead and add a keyframe to the distort. And we want to actually, I'm going to, since I'm going to be just changing the bottom right and bottom left, I mean bottom right and top right, which are going to be this sides, so I'm basically just going to turn this entire page sideways and show you guys how this can be done. Let's go ahead and just grab the, add a keyframe to the bottom right and and bottom, I mean, <laughs> bottom right and then top right. So now we got two keyframes and it's just this side basically we're adding the keyframes to. I'm gonna go ahead and move the um, play ahead. Just another, I would say that's another three seconds I believe it was. And with the keyframes enabled, we're gonna go ahead and click the keyframes again to add another keyframe um, to both of them. So we added the beginning keyframes um, just before we moved the play ahead and then we added ending keyframes when we want the animation to end at the when we move the play ahead and then to go ahead and, and since we're moving this entire side you'll be able to notice the difference actually yeah just like this I'm moving it now if you make a mistake be sure to remember to hit command Z and I'll undo your previous change I mean your most recent change and uh, you'll be able to notice I don't know why I went to the top but this story, you'll be able to notice these uh, X and Y changing as I move this so in two in about three seconds, so we're just gonna move it just like that. And there we have it. Now this is really comes in handy when you're trying to align something with something. For example, let's say you have a moving ground of a, over a truck moving. For example, you could align this video to go where while the truck is going by. Now depending on the speed of the truck, that's that's how fast you're gonna wanna basically your your time in your play ahead. Your you'll be able to change the speed depending. Let's say the truck passes by in two seconds. So you'll have to make that video move in two seconds from that point, from point A to point B. So we're just doing two seconds for everything or around three seconds, just just for an example. And you're, if you're trying to keep this as level as possible, you'll be just moving the x-axis and then the y-axis, you, you just wanna put that to, back to zero, just like this. And then that'll reset it so that it all evens out and it's all flat. Now, now that we have this added, let's go ahead and go back to the beginning. You'll be able to notice the difference, I mean, the changes we made. So first, if we play it here, we notice we did the scale motion, then we moved it to the top left hand corner, and then we added the actual simple transform, I mean, distort where we moved the image to the side, making it look like as if it was either turning or shrinking or just moving. And uh, that's the basics of keyframes, motion pass, and video animations. You can either do this with images, and actually, yeah, just images or videos. Real quick, additional side note. I had somebody ask me regarding how to make the effect, make it look like as if it was turning with a page. Well, if you're, when you're doing the distort keyframe, be sure to actually change these and make sure you're going on the outside, going above and beyond. This gives it a little bit more of a turning page type of look. For example, first you'll just move this. When you add the keyframe, just adjust this just a little bit above it. I mean, yeah, just above the main um, line and then just a little bit below the actual uh, footage. This makes it look like as if it was actually turning and making it look like the actual, it's going outside or not, it's just not simply like it makes it look like more of a page turn than uh, than a simple uh, just going inside or equally along with the page because when you turn a page it goes with you goes it goes it expands a little bit that because it's getting closer to you be sure to watch my further tutorials to provide you guys more details and guidance be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below thank you guys for watching this tutorial catch you guys next tutorial and later so let my life be